Hey Joshua, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me on the phone today. Um, I'm just making you that quick little video I promised to show you how to improve your website so you can get more customers for free. So here we are on your website. And you do have a nice looking website. But I noticed that you don't have a whole lot of content. And unfortunately, Google does not rank you based on appearance. Um, they use robots called crawlers that search the internet and index your pages. And they're looking through your content, trying to find your buyer intent keywords. Um, so the rule of thumb is that you want to have a minimum of 1500 words on your homepage that breaks down to about 150 words per keyword that you're trying to target. And you want location-based buyer intent keywords because they're local customers and the buyer intent keywords are going to be words that they're actually going to be using to find your services. They may not know the name of your company, but they understand and know the services that they're looking for. So those are the terms they're going to be using and the terms that you need to be going after for your keyword strategy. And you're going to need to increase the content on all your pages, including service pages and back pages. Um, and you need more content than your top competitors. Um, one of your top competitors in your area is Thomas Pools. And they also have a nice looking site. And they have a little bit more content than you guys do but not a whole lot of content. So these guys, if you um, add the content and work on your keyword strategy, it should be very easy to not only be more competitive with this company, but also to begin outranking them in Google and getting into the first page. Now, um, this is a program we use called AREFs, and this helps us to analyze how a website is performing. And as you can see, your website has a rating of a 7 out of 100 in, from Google, um, which means that Google does not have a whole lot of trust in your website. And this ranking is based on your backlinks. You have 131 backlinks, and you need to have more backlinks than your top competitors, but not all backlinks are created equal. So they need to be highly authoritative backlinks. If you have spammy backlinks, they will actually hurt you and decrease your score, and those need to be disavowed. Um, you're currently indexed for 56 keywords, and you're only generating about 26 people to your website per month organically out of almost 20,000 searches in your area um, every month. If we look at your competitor, they only have a rating of a 13, which is also low, um, but they have 1,400 backlinks, which is helping in their rating, but because their rating is so low and they have a lot of backlinks, that also shows that a lot of their backlinks are actually not helpful and are hurting their score. Um, they are currently indexed for 761 different keywords, and but because of their keywords and their content and the backlinks they have, they're actually generating almost 3,000 people to their website organically every month without any paid ads. Um, so they're getting a good chunk of the um, search volume every single month. Now, um, what a um, backlink is, is when one website links to another website and drives traffic to the website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. So the higher the ranking and the more authoritative it is, the better it's going to do for you and your website and pushing you up through Google. 
And when I say authoritative, I'm referring to businesses similar to yours um, that you're getting backlinks from in the same type of industry, same type of services you provide. Um, and you want to make sure that those backlinks are do follow and not no follow links. No follow links do not help, but a do follow link will actually share the, their power of those high ranking sites and help boost you up into Google um, to the first page even faster. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is when a customer puts a search in Google, one of the first things that pop up are advertisements. And the next thing you're going to see is the Google My Business or Google Map Pack. And your goal should be to be in the top three because 30% of customers, this is where they go and this is where they stop. So if you're not in the top three, you're leaving money on the table and handing it to your competition. Um, and so in order to get in the top three, part of that has to do with how your website is performing. And the other part has to do with something called citations, which is the name of the business, the phone number, an address, and a website. And having those listed in a variety of different places like Yellow Pages, Facebook, and Yelp. And you need to have a lot more of those than your top competitors. So if you follow these tips I've given you today, you can become number one across Google for all of your keywords and all of your pages. And I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take the information I've given you and you can apply it yourself and that's totally okay because this is just free education. I just ask that you please give me some feedback and let me know what you thought of this video. However, if you do decide you would like help getting some of this stuff done and you don't want to have to worry about it, so you can just focus on your business and let somebody else handle this for you, go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.